Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Saturday, March 2nd, 2019, and this video is in response to some comments by Dave Zimmerly. This is under one of my videos, Flat Earth Blackpool Tower from Hilbury Island, 30.9 miles away. So you can see Blackpool Tower, I'll just play a little overlay that I've posted here in this video. So you can see Blackpool Tower, I'm indicating how much of the tower is actually hidden by the horizon there. So in the comments below, David Zimmerly has uh, made some comments there about the fact that I'm actually zooming in on an image rather than zooming in with the camera. And I actually agree with him because I didn't take the photo myself. It's a photo that was found online. So getting back to the comments, we're discussing about the effect that the zoom will have on the proportion of an object which appears to be hidden. Now there is a myth within the Flat Earth community that you just need more zoom. If you zoom right in, of course those ships will pop up over the horizon just like magic. But it's not like that at all. And I think that most of the people who keep parroting this comment are people who don't own cameras with a powerful zoom such as P900 or P1000. So I've stated in my replies, as we can see here, that zooming in with the camera will show what is actually there. I'm quoting Dave here. Correct, I say. Zooming in on the picture, on the picture, only zooms in on the original photo. Also correct. As I state, but zooming in with the camera will not make a greater proportion of the tower visible above the horizon versus what is hidden. It will only magnify what is already visible. This does not change at any level of zoom. I have several videos of me zooming right in on huge cargo and cruise ships which are partially hidden by the horizon. No amount of zoom changes the proportion we see, regardless of whether I'm using my P900 with 83 times optical zoom or the P1000 with 125 times optical zoom. The proportions remain the same. Do you have any of your own videos which show otherwise? Please don't show me that video of a small pleasure craft bobbing up and down in the swells. It's a video I've seen, obviously not comparable to a huge cargo ship or cruise ship. Dave Zimmerly replies, the burden of proof is on you. If this was legitimate, you would have zoomed in with that camera. You did not. Not to mention the horizon would not be at eye level. Relative to the position of the observer on a globe, the surface would be descending away from the observer in all directions. At 30.9 miles, the horizon would not be at eye level, says Dave Zimmerly. Well, he's correct. I did not zoom in with the camera because I didn't take the image, as I've already explained. He states not to mention that the horizon would not be at eye level. At 30.9 miles, the horizon would not be at eye level, he says. My reply, oh that old chestnut again, do you really not realise that a camera aimed at the horizon will always show the horizon at the midline of the image, or what you call eye level? Do you not realise that if I point my camera up at 45 degrees into the sky and take a photo of the moon, the moon is going to be at what you call eye level, or the midline in my image? Do you not realise that if I take a photo of my toes and centre my toes, they are going to be at what you call eye level in the photo. How can you tell from a photo alone how many degrees the camera is tilted up or down? As for the photo I used in my video, here is the original source image, and there is the link. And I point out, take a careful look, where is the horizon? Is it at the midline in the image? No, the horizon is just under a third of the way up from the bottom. Let's take a look at that image. It's this image here, and we can see that the horizon is just under a third of the way up from the bottom. If what he was saying is correct, we would expect to see the horizon about here. So using his own false logic, we do indeed see a dip to the horizon. But in fact, this is just the effect of the tilt of the camera, because obviously the photographer wanted to get the turbines in the full frame of the image, and he has tilted the camera. Possibly this image has also been cropped. I imagine it has been.
Dave also says the burden of proof is on you. And as I replied, I have already provided proof, not only in this video, but also in my other videos of distant ships where I zoom in and out. Now let's take a look at that. Here is a video that I filmed just the other day with the P1000, which again was kindly loaned to me by Bodie McBoatface. Thank you, Steve. And let's see what happens when I zoom in and pause as I go. We're looking at three ships out here. One, two, and there is a third one out here. So let's zoom in and uh, see what we find. As you can see, I'm well above the uh, sea level. The beach is down below me. I'm up high on a car park. Now we can see these ships coming into view. And all the optical zoom does is to magnify what is already there. It doesn't have any magical effect by bringing ships over the horizon. Obviously the ships are too far away to be seen when we're zoomed right out, but with some magnification, just like using a magnifying glass, we can see objects that are too small to see otherwise, or in this case too far away. But let's zoom in. Now the challenge here is as I'm zooming in, I would like any flat earther who would be prepared to step up and accept the challenge to take some screenshots from this video. I'm even prepared to send you the original video if you want to work with that. Take some screenshots from the video and compare the proportion of the ship that is hidden and compare it at the different stages as I zoom in. Are we seeing more of the ship above the horizon as I zoom in or does the proportion remain exactly the same? We can clearly see the, the crane towers coming into view and the, the bridge of the ship there. So we should have enough information here now to take a good screenshot that we can compare as I zoom in further. Even clearer shot now. Now I am focusing in on the ship on the middle, but I will pan across to the left in just a moment. So here is another clearer opportunity to get a screenshot of this ship here as I'm zooming in and I'm going to zoom past it and then I'm going to pan to the left there we go are we seeing any more of that ship as I'm zooming in to the full 125 times optical zoom no the amount of ship that is visible above the horizon is exactly the same proportion as when I was zoomed out the optical zoom does not change the proportion of the ship that is visible above the horizon compared to the proportion of the ship that is below the horizon. That is a flat earth myth. Thank you for watching.